Most companies on this living the brand spectrum are at level one. Level one on living the brand. We have it. We documented our values. I think they're in, on our website. I, we passed out a handout to employees. When we hire people, don't we have a, we, yeah, we give it to them when we hire them. We give them the values. Level one companies is the majority. And they're not outbehaving the competition. They're making you all look good. Level two, we announce it. We have our team meetings like this, and, we, and the CEO gets up, and we talk about how important the values are. And yeah, we tell you about it when we hire you. It's, it's, it's actually in our job profiles. During performance reviews, we want to talk about it and evaluate you on it, but it's kind of conceptual. They're just words with some quick descriptions. So, but it's, it's important, and everybody knows it's important to us. Level two is where a lot of organizations are. But the companies you love to do business with, the ones you've mentioned here today, to create that kind of love in an, with an engaged workforce, you have to be at level three, where we live it every day. That means we define those values with behaviors that guide how we act and how we interact. We don't just tell people about it when we hire them. We take those behaviors and have them rate which ones come most naturally to you and which ones are the least natural to you, and then we talk with them about it. Once they start in the employee onboarding process, it's not over with. We still talk about these values. We have you pick out three examples of when someone's living our values and share it with your manager by the end of the first 30 days. Those are all reminders about what it takes to live the brand. And now because you have those behaviors, you can have employees rate themselves on how consistently they're doing the behaviors, make that part of the performance conversation. Further reminding on what's important and truly integrating it into the fabric of our culture and making it guide how we act and interact. That's what creates the environment where people can become motivated and committed to act in the best interest of a company.